continue with uh, lesson uh, five two, which is going to be comparing proportional relationships. Okay, now what's uh, uh, com what what does it mean by when we say compare proportional relationship? Now we're going to use it as a, when by using representing the tables and graphs. You know, now we're comparing time with with distance. Now we can see that you know that the horizontal line here is going to be a time, and the vertical line will be the distance. That means if I want to draw a line that goes from zero all the way up in a straight line here, for example, I could see that if when time passes, like you say, I have one second, it would show there where where did I reach, which is I cut like I I crossed 100 250 uh, meters, for example. And then another another minute will give me another 250 meter, and another minute will be another 250 meter. How do I know that? Because I could see that that if I move horizontally and then I go up vertically, I'm meeting at this point. This point represented by 250. Now, what about if I am at two seconds here and go all the way up and I I I, I get to this point on this line? I could see that um, I, I I traveled 500, and that's how you start finding the relationship between time and distance. Okay, so that means more time, more distance, which is logical, right? So distance here is a 40 kilometers when 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 the time is five minutes, for example. So now look at the now if I do a division, distance divided by time. So just by say if I say 40 divided by five, I get an eight. Now what does the eight represent? Something called speed, right? Speed or the you know so the the speed of the this one or the, we we'll take a, something called velocity and speed. It will know the difference. Velocity has a direction. Speed it's only a, a number. So, and but for now this is a speed. Okay, so this is your speed, which is you're traveling. Uh, for example, in this case, is forty kilometers in five minutes. And then we'll 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 uh, we'll show the other numbers, and notice that they're having the same number. So that means. That the plane or the or whoever is traveling is traveling in the, on a, in a, what we call a constant speed, so we're not going faster, all right. So we just it's like you're driving a car and you're driving at uh, 50 kilometers per hour, and you're not changing the speed, so the speed is still the same, but you're still cutting, you know, you're moving more distances with the time. Okay, so that's how it works. Now let's go ahead. This is like physics, you know, like you're. This is more like physics, so you need this in physics and in later on. Science, you'll track it in science since you guys are grade 8. But the next years after that in high school, you'll take it in physics. All right. So the next section is going to be about, uh, let's see, let's see. Oh, yeah. It's connecting proportion relationships with the slope. Okay. Now we're going to take something called slope. A slope is like, you know, going up or going down. Now we have like if you if you are standing here and you're going up, it's a positive slope, and if you are here and you're moving straight, this line that's a, a zero slope. There's no slope in it, and if you are somewhere here, let's say for example, and you want to go down, that's a negative slope, and this is what if 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 a line that goes straight up, we call it undefined slope. Okay, so there's no there's no slope for it. Now we'll take this one in class. So nothing to worry about. We'll find there's a, 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 an equation for it, something called rise over run. That means the change in the y value here divided by the change in the x value gives you a slope. Okay, and this is like I said we'll do in class. So I'll show you how to do this one. This is how it looks like. This is the equation. Okay, y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. It's fun. You, you're going to like it. It's something new for you guys. So you're going to like this one. Okay, and that's it. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.